Getting started with a new My Class site is as simple as 1, 2, 3. First, click on the My Class link found on your My Site. This will take you to a list of all of your My Class sites. If you want to reuse a My Class site or an Office 365 site that you used last year, click on the site and proceed to Step 2. Step 1 Creating a My Class Site. Click the Add New Site button to get started. Here you will be asked to choose a name and a class type for your site. The name you enter here will be the name that students and parents will see when viewing your site, so make it count. If you are creating a site for a specific home form or course and section, you can enter the home form or course and section name. Next, select a class type from the drop down list. The class type determines the color of your My Class icon and the image associated with the icon. You can change the name of the site or the class type later through the administration page. Although you can assign permissions now, let's click Create Site. Please note it is very important that you wait until your site is created before closing your browser or navigating away from this page. When your site is created, it will be displayed. Step 2 Inviting Students to Participate because the new version of My Class is collaborative in nature, you need to invite the students with whom you wish to share the site. To do this, click the administration link found on the left navigation bar. Notice that your school location is already populated. If it is incorrect, you can select your school from the drop down list. Next, click the drop down arrow next to Groups and select the class with which you wish to share the site. There is a group for every home form and course and section combination at your school. These groups are automatically updated from SIS, so you only need to add the group once and new students will automatically get access to your site as they enroll. If you are the librarian and wish to invite all students, you can use the students group. Once the correct group is selected, you can assign it a permission level. There are only two permission levels available, student and teacher. If you are inviting students, select student from the list and click add permission. If you wish to add another group of students, you can repeat the process until all of the students you wish to add appear in the permissions list. When done, click Save Permissions and you will be returned to your My Class site. Step 3 Following a Site To follow your site, click the Follow button located in the top right hand corner of the site page. Following a site keeps you updated when students post something to the newsfeed section of your page. You should instruct students to follow your class site as well once they have been invited. One last thing. By default, My Class Sites are not shared with parents. If you wish to make your site available to parents, click the Administration button and select Enable under Parent Access. That's it. You're all ready to begin using your new My Class Site. For additional help, please refer to the video on the specific topic with which you have questions.